Hello everybody, what's up? It's Jared here from 1UP Creative. So, I did a video mm, a couple years ago about how to set up and record multiple screens using OBS. Uh, you know, it can be kind of a challenge to set up and record multiple screens. So I did a video of basically how to set up, record triple monitors in 1080p, and then how I actually would edit those monitors together in Premiere so that you can switch between them. So uh, I actually figured out a way, if you're interested, to actually have the screen automatically switch when you are moving your mouse to a different screen. I was thinking about this because I wanted my mouse to be able to switch to the screen during streams because I've been thinking about possibly streaming uh, sometimes on my computer and I would like it to be able to switch whenever you know my mouse moves that way I don't have to remember to switch manually because I probably would forget so uh, I have actually figured this out for you guys and it's actually not that complicated because someone else already did most of the work for us so guys we're going to be use some, using a plugin called advanced scene switcher uh, and we're gonna dive right in alright let's go Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open up OBS. So I'm going to open up, this is a 64-bit version of OBS. Uh, I have a theme installed on here, but uh, most of the buttons should all be in the same place. So, Alright, this is a fresh scene here. Uh, everything should be fresh in this setup, so we don't need to think about much. But first thing we need to do is we're going to add our sources. Alright, so we're going to add our sources this is going to be screen left okay we're going to make a new source and we're going to set this to our left screen which I have as this one right here alright going to make a new scene this will be scene 2 add another source this will be screen middle okay so we're going to set this up to be our middle screen, which happens to be this one right here. And then we're going to make another scene. So this will be scene three. And this will be screen right. Okay? And we'll set this up to have our right screen, which happens to be that one right there. Okay, so we have our three scenes. You can rename these if you want. I'm just going to keep them as scene one, two, and three. That works for me. Um, but you can rename these if you so desire. We're going to keep them like this for now. So basically now what you can do at this point is uh, you can transition between these scenes and if I click the transition button you can see it'll switch between my three screens as I click the transition button. Alright so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and add an audio source. Uh, obviously, you would want your audio source to be whatever your microphone is. In this case, I'm using a blue snowball, so you'd want it to be a blue snowball. But in the case of this video, uh, I'm just going to use my webcam's audio uh, just for sake of simplicity. So we're going to select webcam audio for each of our scenes. Um, and now all three of our scenes have audio input. It's an important thing to remember because I actually forgot that when I first started streaming. Uh, you want to remember to have an audio source on all of your scenes because if you don't have an audio source on all of them, then you're going to switch scenes and you're going to not have any audio, which sucks. Okay, so now we have a scene for all three of our screens. All of them have audio. Good to go there. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin. This plugin is going to go right here in this tool thing. Now uh, you can see here. I have it already, it's called Advanced Scene Switcher. That's what we're going to set up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you basically what you do in order to install it. Okay? First thing you need to do is install Open Broadcasters Advanced Scene Switcher. This is an OBS Studio plugin by Warmup Till. Uh, he already has done most of the scripting work in order to do this. So, this is Advanced Scene Switcher. You're going to click this download button right here. Uh, and then it's going to ask you to save it. I've already got it saved on my desktop already. So we're going to open up this zip file here. And we're going to open up these folders inside. I am a Windows user, so I'm going to select Windows 64-bit. Because uh, that's the version of OBS I had installed. And you can see this advanced scene switcher DLL. 
Okay, so next thing you need to do is you need to go to the location that your OBS is installed. For most of you, it's probably going to be in C drive, program files, x86, and then you'll have an OBS folder in here somewhere. Uh, but for me, I have all my program files installed on this F drive. So if I go in here, I can see there's a thing called OBS Studio. I'm going to click that. And then inside of here, there is a uh, folder called OBS Plugins. We're going to click that and we open up the 64 bit folder. And there you can see we have this advanced scene switcher DLL. So, what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm just going to delete the one that's here uh, just to demonstrate. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this fresh one in. So, this is our advanced scene switcher. We just dragged it in. And now, if we go back to OBS. Okay, so what we actually want to do next is we want to set up our advanced scene switcher. So we're going to open up the advanced scene switcher window and we're going to actually first things first, we're going to make sure that this is set to start. This will make sure that the scene switcher is on and you can turn it off if you want. You can actually set up a hot key here in the settings if you want to do that, but we're just going to keep it on. Next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the top selection is screen region. This basically is a hierarchy of what it's going to look for before switching to scenes. So you want to make sure that screen region is the top option because that's the one we were going to use here. So we're going to go to the screen region tab uh, and then we're going to uh, start setting up some settings. So what this is basically going to do is it's going to look at where your cursor is located and it's going to basically set up uh, conditions based on the cursor's location. So we can change the scene based on where our cursor is actually at. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the top left of a monitor and we're going to go down to the bottom right of a monitor. All right. So we're going to stop at, start at the top left of our middle monitor uh, just for ease of use so you guys can kind of see what's going on. And as you can see here, the top left of our middle monitor is our 0, 0 location. It says our cur cursor was currently at 0, 0. So we're going to keep our minimum and maximum, or our minimum X and Y values at 0, 0. If we go down to the bottom right of our middle monitor, you can see it says our cursor is currently located at 1919 and 1079, which makes sense because this is 1920 by 1080 monitor. So we're just one pixel shy of that value, which given that we have a 0, 0 coordinate, makes that a 1920 by 1080 display. So I'm going to go 19, 19 by 1079. And when that occurs, we want it to switch to our middle monitor scene, which in my case is scene two. So we're going to select switch to scene two using a cut when that occurs. That way, when the coordinates are between the top left and bottom right corner, of this uh, location, which is my middle monitor, or essentially when my cursor is on the middle monitor, we want it to switch to the middle monitor scene. So we're going to go ahead and add that. And you can see it creates that scene uh, when our cursor is located between those coordinates, which is my middle monitor's screen. So we're going to go ahead and add another one for our left monitor. So we're going to switch to scene one, which is my left monitor scene, when our cursor is located between negative 1920 and 1079, which is the coordinates of the top left corner of our my left monitor and the bottom right corner of my left monitor. So negative 1920 and 0 and 0 and negative 1 and 1079. Negative 1 and 1079. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Now we have two scenes in here. One that should cut between the coordinates of negative 1920 and negative 1, which is my left monitor, and one that should cut to the second scene when my coordinates are zero between 0 and 1919, which is the coordinates of my middle monitor. So we're going to go ahead and add one more here, and this one's going to be for scene 3. Okay, So we're going to put my monitor, uh, my mouse over here, that's going to be 1920 to 3839. We're going to put in our minimum x, 1920 here, and then our max y is 3839. Okay, so now uh, if we add this one and we're going to cut to scene three, now we have three of these. Scene one should cut be cut to when my cursor is on the left screen, and that is our 
left screen scene. Scene two, it should cut to when my cursor is on the middle screen, and that is my middle screen scene. And scene three, it should cut to when my mouse is on the right screen, which is our right screen scene. Okay, so everything is set up, we are good to go, and we can go ahead and uh, just double check, make sure that this is active and running, and we can go ahead and close this out. And now if you look on this window here, if I go over to my left monitor, my, current, my scene will automatically change depending on what monitor my cursor is on. So that way, uh, if you wanted to do like a live stream of you editing a video or something, or if you're doing multiple things at once and you just want to not have to remember to change scenes, you can set this up so that it will automatically work. It saves you time in editing, especially because the editing process for doing that is so complex. So that's it guys if you like this video please let me know by leaving a like down below and if you have some comments for me maybe some feedback I don't know uh, I'm not necessarily an OBS expert so uh, maybe you are in that aspect and you have something that you know that I don't let me know down below uh, and if you guys want to see more videos like this one please don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos all the time so guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye